Viva Morph is the new member of the Vivum family. It retains all the functionality of its predecessors, but it adds some new features that makes it very special. Viva Morph still sports a honeycomb-style interface, which hosts 80 multi-sampled sound sources, which include loops and sustained sounds and are represented by each hexagon in the GUI. More sounds can be combined together by selecting more hexagons at once. The user can choose which hexagon to include, or use the generation slider to randomly select more hexagons at once. The resulting combination can be played in different ways. In random mode, each press of the MIDI keyboard will trigger a different sound source. In stack mode, all sounds will play at once. In stack, spread mode, each sound is mapped in a specific region of the keyboard range. In curves mode, all sounds are played at once, but each sound's volume is controlled by an LFO to produce waves like sound that come and go at different rates. New combinations of sounds and effects can be achieved in one click using the dice, with which a new patch will be generated very quickly. Like each Vivum, Vivum Morph includes more features, so please check older Vivum's videos to know more about all Vivum's family features. Vivum Morph sounds can be grouped in two sets of sounds, A and B. These can happen automatically when using the dice or the slider. The user can also assign hexagons to set A or B. To do so, simply select one hexagon until its icon becomes white. Then press the A or B letters in the center of the interface, then press the AB assign button. Done! The icon of the selected hexagon will change from A to B or vice versa, to indicate it belongs to the newly chosen set. But what can we do after we have our all sounds organized in set A and B? Now we can use the mod wheel to transition in different ways from set A to B. Let's reveal the transition settings to see what we can do. Here we find a lot of options. In the volume behavior menu, I can choose to crossfade from set A to set B and back. All this using the mod wheel.
Or I can crossfade from A to A and B together, which means I am adding the set B sounds to set A by moving the mod wheel. And of course I can do the opposite, which is starting from A plus B and crossfading to set B alone. We can do similar transitions using the pitch, like transitioning from normal unison to one octave higher. Or having the pitch change in the middle of the mod wheel ride, to achieve some nice bending effects like one semitone bend. Or even having two pitch changes at once, one set going up one octave and the other one two octaves down. We can also do filter transitions, A greater than, means the set A's filter will start in the open position and will close at the end of the mod wheel range. A less than, means the exact opposite. Then we can also crossfade the filters so that when one set's filter opens the other one closes. We can also include the step filter and step volume in the transition, so that set A can have a step filter effect applied, while set B does not. And vice versa. The same with the step volume. Also, we can totally change the volume envelope of the two sets and crossfade from a short sound to a long one. Or vice versa.
but it does not end here. By switching on these little buttons here, we can add a multiplier to the amount of convolution, delay, reverb and LFO to create dramatic effects. Now imagine all these options combined together. You can achieve sounds that change in unpredictable ways. And let's not forget that these transitions can happen in conjunction with the Vivum playing modes. The possibilities are endless. This is just a little peek into what Vivum Morph can do, but there's a lot more. Vivum Morph is available at www.audiofire.com.